What is up guys, it's Reeve Rainey here and I want to welcome you back to a brand new YouTube video. I'm going to be starting a new series where I go ahead and start with NFL predictions. I know that it's barely May and I want to go ahead and start, you know, dissecting every team's schedule. Um, 18 weeks, the NFL added a new week to the end of the season, giving uh, an extra game. So I think that's going to be very interesting in predicting a lot of teams' records. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with my Dallas Cowboys. Um, looking at their schedule, they've got a lot of different elements where I think that they can win a lot of games and I think that they can also lose a lot of games. But let's go ahead and start with you know the first game of the season. The Dallas Cowboys will open their season up at Tampa Bay to play the uh, – Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. Um, let's just go ahead and start with week one's prediction. Thursday Night Football on NBC. I'm really going to take Tom Brady and the Bucks here. I think that, you know, Tom Brady is going to, in that Super Bowl team, they all came back intact. All 22 starters are coming back for the Buccaneers. Dak Prescott, first game with his new big deal and his ankle coming back. I think they're going to lose uh, the first game, but I think they're going to go on a couple. Uh, game win streak. I think they're going to win in week two uh, against San, uh, against the Los Angeles Chargers. I think that the defense is just going to uh, do a really good job that game because uh, the Chargers offensive line is still you know being rebuilt and I think that Dallas will control the defensive side of the ball during that game. Week three at Philadelphia. That's going to be a sun. No, that's going to be, let's see. So week one is NBC against Tampa. I'm taking Brady and the Bucks. Week two is a CBS 325 game um, against the Chargers, and I'm going to have to take Dallas on that one. So they're going to start their season off one and one. The Eagles, Thursday night football. I'm going to have to take the Dallas Cowboys because I think they're going to control this division this year. Um, I think they're going to win most of their division games. I think they're going to win games that they should have won that they didn't win last year. So that's going to be a big key. I think they're going to take that game at Carolina, um, a weaker, obviously a weaker offense. Sam Darnold um, is going to make that team a little bit better. But they're going to start off 3-1. and one. And then, uh, well, that that's going to conclude the home trip because they're going to start the first two games on the road. And uh, they're going to start on the East, uh, East Coast and then have to go out to the West Coast. So week five is against the Giants at home and you know every time that they play the Giants um, last year there was the game the first game the first time that the Cowboys played the Giants was in week five when Dak Prescott got hurt and then um, in week 17 when they lost and ended up not making the playoffs so I think that they're going to go in there and, uh, and play a really well uh, close out the home stand I think they're going to do really well at that game I think they're going to be four and one at that point and then they have to go to New England for week six, and that's prob that's part of the added game. They're not playing the that division this year. They're really playing the the NFC South, and let's see the NFC South, and then they're playing the uh, AFC that AFC division with Kansas City, the Chargers, the Raiders, and the Broncos. So I think. Um, that they're going to pull out a win in week six. I think they're going to beat Belichick on the road. Uh, I, this difficult, this schedule can go so many different ways because you have a tough, You they, they could easily win the first game in the season, but it's just hard because I know Tom Brady and the Bucks are going to be very good again this year. And they're going to win, like I said, it's in, in LA. They're going to win four straight, but I am going to have to give them a win at New England. And they're going to start off the year pretty well after that Tampa loss. They're going to go five straight, go into week seven with the bye. And the Cowboys in the past couple years have been pretty well off the bye. But this year, they're going to go to Minnesota. They beat them last year. They're going to lose to them this year. And then they're going to be six and two. And then they got to, and then they come back for Denver. And then they, um, they're they going to win that game, depending on... Uh, on their uh, the quarterback for Denver at the time. If it's Drew Locke, I'm taking Dallas. If it's Aaron Rodgers, like a lot of speculation is saying, I think I'm going to have to go with Dallas in that standpoint because Drew Locke is, I just don't think he's the answer in Denver. 
So I think that's a win for Dallas, 7-2. Uh, the first time that they see Kyle Pitts in week 10, through the first 10 weeks, the Dallas Cowboys will be 8-2 and two because I think they're going to win at Atlanta. And then they're going to start a little bit of a, a road trip, sort of say. The four out of five are on the road to potentially close out the year. Um, they go to Kansas City. They're going to lose that game. They're going to go to eight and three. Uh, I believe Patrick Mahomes is going to play really well against Dak Prescott um, and just outplay him. Uh, let's see the Raiders. Okay, uh, that's that's a home game, and that's on Thanksgiving. Last year, the Cowboys got obliterated on Thanksgiving, so I think that they're going to go ahead and you know potentially play better this year on Thanksgiving. So. Uh, you know, we'd, we'd like to see that. We'd like to see that. So, um, a Dallas Cowboys win on Thanksgiving would be nice for the Cowboy fans. Um, we got a Thursday night football game. Uh, the Cowboys, pretty much every year since I've been watching football, I've noticed that they've always played that Thursday night, th that Thursday 3 o'clock game for Thanksgiving, and then they'll go back for another Thursday game, and this time they're going to play at New Orleans. So, um, Jameis Winston will probably be the quarterback um, for the New Orleans Saints. Drew Brees is retired. I'm going to go ahead and give a Dallas win on this one. Um, it is tough playing in the Superdome, and there's going to be fans this year, but I think that um, Dak Prescott's just going to play really well against Jameis Winston in that defense in, in New Orleans because they had to get rid of a lot. They had to cut a lot because of the salary cap issues that they had. So we'll have to see, but that is a win for the Dallas Cowboys in week 13. Week 14, 15, and 16 are straight three divisional play, three divisional games. You open, uh, you go to Washington for the first game. Haven't played Washington yet this season, but they start playing them in week 14. Washington won the division. It's gonna see how it's gonna be interesting to see how Dallas matches up against this Washington football team. And I know they have a great defense. I don't love their offense, but I love their defense. And I, and I like how they can really match up well against this Dallas um, offensive line because they are old. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how uh, Washington plays the Cowboys this year. But I'm gonna, st I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take the Washington football team to win that game in week 14 on the road. The Cowboys um, coming off of a two win uh, streak. They're gonna take a loss at Washington in week 14. New York Giants on the road week 15. Uh, last time the Cowboys played there was their playoff. Um, their playoff hopes were taken from them as they as they lost against the New York Giants. I predict them to win that game. I don't think they're going to mess around and lose too many divisional games this year. I think they're only going to maybe lose one or two, but I have them losing just one divisional game in this season. Week 16, home against Washington. I think that Dak Prescott plays really well at home. Um, and I just think he's going to play really well, uh, make some adjustments uh, from that week 14 loss. Um, and I think that he's going to play really well. So I would say a, a week 16 win for the Dallas Cowboys against the Washington football team. That one is Sunday night football. And I think Dak Prescott plays pretty well on prime time. So here we go, week 17, they come home. Last year they played the Cardinals, they got obliterated at 38 to 10 loss. And I think that this year, um, a lot of the games last year weren't as close because, you know, we didn't have our quarterback. Andy Dalton uh, did just as much as he could have. I mean, he got hurt uh, and had COVID during last season. So everything, everything last year was just so up in the air, but now you get a little bit more of certainty. Um, so I, I'm pretty sure I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give them a win in Week 17. That one's a toss-up, though, because that defense in Arizona is very, very good. So this is, where, this is the last game of the season, Week 18, the added week for the Cowboys. The week added game was against the New England Patriots. So they're going to have to go to Foxborough this year. Um, but the last game, they're going to close it out on the road in Philadelphia. Could be a potential division win, uh, like winner get into the playoffs. Um, they have that game game scheduled for 12 o'clock right now, but you could see possibly getting that game be flexed out if the Cowboys, you know, lose some of these games that they're not supposed to. 
that they're supposed to win. It's going to be very interesting to see how this season plays out. I want to thank everyone for watching today's YouTube video. Make sure you subscribe and I will start tomorrow with a new YouTube video on the Washington football team and projecting their new season. So I'm going to start with the NFC East and go on and you will see a full 32 team NFL season preview for every team. Reeve Rainer here and I'm out. Peace.